we're looking at famous singers covering other famous singers' songs. Let's do this video! Here for the originals, we have Lay Me Down by Sam Smith. And I lay by your side. That tone is so fun. I <laughs> Sorry. It's beautiful. Okay, very beautiful. And here we have Nick Jonas covering it. To be honest, Nick Jonas is not a person I think can cover this super well. I think he's got an amazing voice, but it doesn't have that type of high mix going on that Sam Smith has. He's way more of like a chest voice and then into his falsetto thing. So let's see. Yeah, it's way lower, but it's interesting. I feel what they've done with the rhythm is a little bit awkward. It definitely works better with the legato vibe, but I also enjoy that they do something different with it. This is more folky in a way. That was great. However, it's gotta go to the original for this one. It is a very strong vocal performance by Sam Smith. Next cover! Here we have My Future by Billie Eilish. It's a cool beat. I like this animation style, actually. I love that music video. It looked really anime. And I'm a weeb, okay? So anything that just looks remotely like anime, I'm like, yes, best thing ever. <laughs> and here we have a cover by Miley Cyrus. Interesting. I know better than to drive you home. I am in love. This works really well with this band vibe. There's so many retro chords. I really like that. Since I'm not the biggest fan of intimate vocals, which Billie Eilish does a lot of the time, like, I think it works really well in songs like Bad Guy. In ballads like that, when it's really, really intimate as well, it gets a little bit overpowering for me. I'm gonna give that one to the Miley Cyrus cover. Both are incredible, of course. Here we got Lucid Dreams by Juice World. I still see your shadows in my room. So good. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point why I love and I hate you and I cannot change you, so I must replace you. You found a Another one, but I am the better one. I won't let you forget me. So sick. I still see your shadows in my room. This song just gets better every time you hear it. The energy is intense. And here we have the cover by Halsey. Interesting. I still see shadows in my room. Mm. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where I love and I hate you, but I cannot change you, so I must replace you. It works with her voice really well. And her vibe. She does that weird tick with her jaw. It's <laughs> super interesting. I still see shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. That cover really worked. I would love to hear a more produced up version of Halsey doing that song. But it's gotta go to the original. It's just one of those songs that, I don't know, like, it's magic. It's that type of thing where I'm not even sure how much talent goes into making something with that amount of magic. I think it comes down to just writing many, 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 many songs and you kind of stumble upon something that just works that well. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he wasn't talented. I'm saying that it was almost too good for you to be able to do it just sitting down and doing it. Things happen magically sometimes. R.I.P. My dude. Amazing music. By the way, welcome back to another daily video. My name is Joe from Romy Official and here's a meme from the subreddit. Me performing my world tour in the shower. My shampoo bottles. <laughs> Let me tell you, shampoo is just like having real fans because both of them make you cry. <laughs> fans get in your eyes. Anyway, uh, here we have Dancing on My Own by Robin. Yeah, I know it's stupid. Fellow Swedish person. I just gotta see She's 
she's an amazing songwriter, but there's always been something about her voice that doesn't speak to me. I really love a lot of female singers, like Ariana is one of my favorite singers, obviously, but it's just something like the overtones or something. I don't know if it comes down to her throat. That is very mean to just be like, yeah, I don't like your voice because your throat bad. But I think it comes down to how she sings as well. It's just not my cup of tea. Here we have a cover by Callum Scott. This is a special one because this cover was actually what made Callum Scott famous. And it wasn't like on Idol or anything like that. I think he was on a talent show, but this was after. So this was just a release of this song that made him really famous and a, a big boy, basically. Yeah, I know it's stupid, he made it kind of an Adele thing. But I just gotta see it for myself. I'm in the corner. Why do you kiss her? Oh, oh, oh. The kind of sepia filter also feels very Adele. It's definitely super inspired by that vibe, but it works really well. I find his voice to be pretty Adam Levine esque. And I'm giving it my all, but I'm not the guy you take it home. Ooh, I keep dancing on my own. I like that. Oh. Yeah, I gotta give it to the cover. It speaks better to me. I like his voice better. And honestly, the song kind of shines like that because the lyrics are so good. And all the production in the Robin song actually kind of distracts from how awesome the songwriting is. Big up to both. Amazing songwriting, but also just, mmm, what a, what a cover. What a way to reimagine a song. Okay, here we have Happy by Pharrell Williams. My favorite song. Just kidding. This absolutely, this makes me crawl. With the air, like I don't care, baby, by the way. Is that Miranda Cosgrove? Yeah, I think it is. Gotta have some celebs in there, you know? And here we have a cover of it by Maroon 5. Time she's here, can't take a break. Interesting. Adam sounds good here. He's so on and off with how good he sounds live. Sometimes he's really pitchy and stuff. But I think when he's in good shape and he hears himself properly, like in this setting, he always sounds amazing. As much as I like Adam's voice better, that was not a very interesting version. Like, I think the original is overly happy, but to some extent, like, it needs to be a little bit happy. That was just because I'm bored. <laughs> I'm gonna give that one to the original, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the original. Here we have Riptide by Vance Joy. All my friends are turning green. Mm. Yeah, the magicians are in their dreams. I'm also not a huge fan of this type of production, the very indie production, so this cover will have a chance. Baby, it just sounds like a commercial, this type of music now. It just sounds like someone selling a car. <laughs> Song, yeah. I'm just waiting for a slogan, you know, like more efficient, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and here we have a cover by Taylor Swift. Movie that I think you'd like. She's so good at this getting lyrics across. To quit his job and heads to New York City. This cowboy's running from himself. a little bit pitchy there in some parts not too bad i mean that's kind of what you expect from taylor anyway she's an incredible singer but part of her texture is that she's a little bit pitchy and that's fine a little bit pitchy merch right here by the way i think still it didn't feel like she had put that much effort into this cover which is very baseline piano and stuff i think taylor swift could make an amazing cover of that with a little bit more effort but this felt like something that was probably semi improvised or at least not like something they spent days on i'm gonna give that one to the original okay so here we have living for that by little pitchy but when we are Oh yeah, I love this one. His voice is just... Mm. I gotta say he's pretty ugly though. Just, I, I like big eyes and I can't even see his eyes. They're so freaking small. <laughs> and here we have a cover by Rumi. It's like the same beat. I don't know, there's just something about him that me off. Maybe it's the eyes and the face and... I don't know, the voice just isn't as good. That one goes a little pitchy and the original. <laughs> Link in the description if you want to listen to that, by the way. And here we got In My Blood by Shawn Mendes. I really like this song. 
sounds just freaking release here it isn't in my blood. super john mayer it isn't in my blood. i wonder if the cover is by john mayer no it's charlie pruth okay yeah he can definitely do a good job with this as well he's got like a meaty type voice Medicine is strong enough so help me i'm crawling in my skin <laughs> Super Charlie Puth. Like Jazzy chords. I just can't. It isn't in my blood. Mm. It isn't in my blood. No, no. I think the Charlie Puth one was interesting, but yeah, it was lacking that release that I really like about that song. I think I'm gonna have to give that one to the original. I think Charlie has a tendency. I think maybe he's afraid of tensing up. I think he tenses up quite a lot when he does his more meaty singing. So I think when I've seen him do improvised covers and stuff, it's always just just this falsetto thing. That's what I would guess anyway. Okay, here we have Issues by Julia Michaels. I got issues, but you got them too. So give them all to me and I'll give mine to you. Bash in the glory. This is so good with her voice. It feels like it's written so specifically for her voice. It's gonna be hard to cover. Here we have it. Louis Capaldi. Hmm. You don't judge me. George. Cause if you did, baby, I would judge you too. I like his distortion so much. Yeah, go to your shoes. You go to too. So give them all to me and I'll give mine to you. That's actually really nice. But in the glory. Over the problem Cause we got the kind of love it takes the soul of that was really good. It did bring another vibe to it. I guess just a really good voice that works with acoustic piano and stuff will really take a song to another place. It was a little bit boring how slow he made it. Oh, I'm gonna have to give it to the original. Okay, here we have Make You Feel My Love by Bob Dylan. When evening shadows and the stars appear. Wow, not the best Dylan vocals I've heard. And there's no one there to dry your tears. Wow. To make you feel my love. Oh yeah, this song is really good. Oh, it happens with Dylan. You're like, oh, these vocals are not good. And then you're like, oh, that melody is really nice. And like that melody with that lyric is very nice. That's so Bob Dylan. And here we have a cover by Adele. And there is no one there to dry your tears. And I could hold you for a million years. This looks like early Adele. I know you haven't been in your mind But I will never do your own. She's recorded this in a bad room. You can hear that. That was probably home recording. But incredible vocals. And I just think the melodies and overall lyrics come through better in that. So I'm going to have to give it to the cover there. Here we have Stay by Rihanna. Now, tell me now, tell me now, tell me now, tell me now you know. I like to call it the bathtub song. Not really sure how to feel about it. Something in the way you move makes me feel like this lip sync is not great. I can't see if she's saying the words or not. That is some very cloudy water. I see why they had to do it to not like show too much, but uh, I'm just thinking that is very dirty. Please change your water. <laughs> and here we have the cover by Demi Lovato. Oh, now tell me now, tell me now, tell me now, you know. I just have heard her almost in any clip. Not really sure how to feel about it. Something in the way you move. Makes me feel like I can't live without you It takes me all the way I want you to stay That song really rides on how warm Rihanna's voice is and Demi Lovato doesn't have the same type of voice. Demi's voice is projecting more, I would say. It was live, so you know, I definitely forgive all of the little small pitchiness and like tiny mistakes and stuff. And that one goes to the original. Uh, not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but yeah. Here we have Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Is it fast enough so we can fly away? Will this be the Jonas Blue remix, maybe? Driving, driving in your car. 
He's got a cool voice. Oh, it's Khalid. He's got an interesting voice. Let's have a listen. Who got a fast car? Is it fast enough so we can fly away? We gotta make a decision. Great nerve in that voice. If it's not a living die this way. She have a member we were driving, driving in your cars. Be so fast, feel like I was strong. City lights laid out before us, and your home phone that's wrapped around my shoulder in the eye. That was really sick. I'm gonna have to give that one to the cover, I think. They both have really cool voices, but there was just something with this backing track and his nerve, the way he was modulating his voice and stuff. It, it, it really made me listen way closer to the melodies and I loved it. Here we have Delicate by Taylor Swift. Ah, cute. What? Wait. Is it what was that about? I want to see that whole music video at some point because I haven't seen it and it seems interesting. She always is amazing at music videos. Here we have Delicate by James Bay. Also incredible singer. This could be interesting. So you must like me for me. We can't make any promises and how can we be? Not sure what I feel about him doing that with his guitar. It just sounds out of tune to me. <laughs> is it cool that I should own? Is it true that you're in my head? Cause I know that it's delicate Isn't it, isn't it? A cool spin on the song but yeah it doesn't approach the original for me yes yeah, so you gotta give that one to taylor and here we have a researcher error beautiful by christina aguilera now and then i get insecure from all the pain i think she's got a chip in her tooth hair i am beautiful maybe she was nervous before filming the music radio and she grinded her teeth in her sleep she got a chip here we have Beautiful, once again, by Ava Max. Interesting. Now and then I get insecure from all the pain. I'm so ashamed. I am beautiful no matter what they say. No words can bring me down. Hold on. It's a little bit of a whack auto tuning thing going on here but yeah it's good she sounds great hard to beat christina aguilera on that song i have to say i'm gonna have to give that one to the original okay so nine points for the originals four points for the covers today i love these types of videos super interesting click here for more music commentary videos click here for music vs videos here's a meme from the subreddit care to explain how many relationships are you in joel <laughs> Oh, this is so long ago. This is actually one of the guys from I Just Want To Be Cool, a YouTube channel in Swedish. I remember this day, it was really fun. They were super fun. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow in another daily video. Now I'm gonna keep playing with my cameras. Isn't this, you love this, right? Uh